Hey Pipe People, happy Tuesday. This is my third time trying to make this video. On the last take, I actually, I got halfway through and then realized that it wasn't recording at all. And that was after starting the video. It's a video response to Smoking Grandpa Bones. And I completely forgot the questions. So I've written them down now, uh, so I'm ready to go. And it is recording. Um, Smoking Grandpa Bones, congratulations on all the subs, 500. That's uh, that's excellent. It's amazing, but it's not a surprise at all. Your channel is uh, it's incredible, and, and it's a joy to know that I can come and just chill on the front porch with Smoking Grandpa Bones and listen to your chats. It's great. Keep up, keep up the great work. Um, so number one, I know that you requested us to you requested that we make this quick. Things gonna be kind of difficult, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, number one, when I started smoking. Okay, so I had a false start pretty much when I started smoking. Um, I first picked up a pipe when I was in college and I was a cigarette smoker. I wanted to taste more of the tobacco. I knew, I just felt that I was missing so much. Um, went to like a little cigarette store. You see them everywhere. They've got um, humidors that are poorly humidified and you know pipes here and there and pouch tobacco. I went in, picked up the coolest pipe that I saw. I think it was like $35 or something like that. And uh, I don't. I can't even recall what type of tobacco I bought, but I got the pipe. Got the tobacco. Sat in my car. Lit it up, and then lit it again, and then lit it again. And I'm sitting here like, why won't this thing light? What is? How am I supposed to smoke it if it won't even stay lit? So I stashed it away in the uh, center console of my car. The next day I tried again. Didn't really work out. The tobacco didn't taste good at all. It really wasn't what I imagined. And then I gave up until the fall, I think, late fall of uh, 2012. Um, and it was that same thing again. It was, hey, I really need to taste more of the tobacco. I started rolling my cigarettes because um, I wanted to taste the tobacco. And then it, it, it still, I just thought, knew that I was missing something. So went over to Pipes and uh, they looked really cool. I'm like, why not? <laughs> and it's been a pleasurable experience ever since. But I, I have to say that I wouldn't have stuck with it and I wouldn't have learned how to smoke a pipe without all of you. So thank you so much. Um, Cause I don't know any pipe smokers. So anyway. Number two, my favorite song, Sam Cooke, A Change Is Gonna Come. Doesn't get any better than, than that for me. Uh, number three, favorite food. I just did a VR. For Kurt Shackelford, he said, what is the one thing that you could eat if you had to eat it forever? Um, I cheated and picked two. But here's a little different because I don't just have to pick one thing. I can pick a whole selection of food, a whole genre of food. Uh, so I'm going to go with Mexican food. Absolutely love it. Can't get enough of it. I'm, I'm actually, I will admit that I am a snob when it comes to Mexican food. I've spent some time in Mexico, a good deal of time in Mexico, uh, and Los Angeles, and um, if it's not real, I can't do it. I don't really even do the Tex-Mex stuff. Can't do it. Favorite childhood memory? Um, for me, it's, it's, it's hard to choose one. It would probably be a collection of things, and mostly that's just playing outside with the kids, you know? 
running around, being knuckleheads, probably specifically playing tackle football with everybody. And one game that was kill the carrier. Absolutely loved it, especially with the big kids playing with the older kids. And then, you know, every once in a while, you put on a move and spring a big one, and then you just feel like you're on top of the world. That's probably, <laughs> that was the greatest. Um, best memory from this past summer? We had some friends come up and visit us from Virginia uh, this summer, and we've got a little boy. He's three. They've got a little girl. She's three, but they also have two older kids. Uh, one is seven and one is ten, I want to say. The ten-year-old has been fighting cancer for the longest. Um, he is the greatest kid in the world, incredibly mature um, and selfless. Um, but, but before they came and visit, he was actually found to be um, cancer-free. And it's since come back now. Um, but at the time, he was cancer-free. And they came up to visit us, and we spent the weekend on the beach. And really just had a, like a, just an amazing time um, to be able to hang out with friends that you love and watch your kids get along and just you know run off and not have to worry about them and you know see them interact with the ocean and the shells and all the stuff that you can find uh, and then towards the end of one of the days just a great day sitting and we're sitting and watching the uh, the ocean and we see some dolphins come up maybe like I don't know five or six of them as the sun was going down, it was it was just it was just gorgeous, and it was an end to a perfect weekend. Um, yeah, that would be it. It would be cool, and uh, those are my favorite times. I'm not a big going out person. I just like to hang out with the people that I love, people that love me. We can listen listen to some music, maybe have a drink in the hand, get a guitar out, maybe build a bonfire. You know. But anyway, now I'm rambling. Those are my five. Congratulations. Uh, smoking Grandpa Bones. Keep it up. Uh, we'll see you guys later.